I was just, I wanted to try and get like a sideways one as well, but, but it'll just, if you leave him around, he'll go under again, just like he did. Yeah, well, yeah you can totally take the direct approach on the side. <laughs> Uh, can I just, I really need to try and get that front one in, which is going to be difficult, obviously, because it comes... Yeah. Okay, that was wonderful, guys. So I just really want to. Okay, I think we might have nailed it on that. Okay. Um. So obviously you're English, Lee. Right. And uh, where are you from originally? Uh, raised right near Oxford. And what brought you here to San Francisco? Uh, actually, my, my father's company brought us out here when I was uh, 18 years old. So. And how did you get involved with um, the animal lion and tiger training? Uh, well, I actually had a, a corporate job. I was a fraud investigator and I got tired of the corporate world, decided I want to follow one of my things I've always wanted to do, and that's work with animals. And I got my foot in the door here when we originally were Marine World, actually cleaning the dolphin pools as a diver. And I worked my way uh, through the park. I've been here for 13 and a half years. And I've raised a lot of the tiger cubs here we have, and uh, Odin, like you saw, these are one of the cubs I raised. And so how long have you, um, you raised him from a cub, Odin, and how old is he now? Odin is five years old, he's going to be six next month. And he's, what sort of a tiger is he? He's a white Bengal tiger. And what makes him so special? Why is he such a big feature of the park? Uh, well, one thing is he's a white tiger. People love the white tigers. Uh, Odin can be very personable with trainers. They also can be a little snotty sometimes. You know, he is a wild animal, so... You, Careful. And is it rare to see them diving like that? Uh, yeah, this is one of the few places in the world you can see a tiger diving underwater. Um, uh, in the wild, though, they would if their prey sunk in the river, because they're hunting in around water, they will go underwater and get it. We can actually showcase uh, that behavior here. And, um, and is this a, is a white tiger very rare? Yeah, or? the last white tiger was shot and killed in the wild in 1958. There's not been a white tiger in the wild seen since then. And probably there are more now than there ever were because of zoos and uh, parks like this. And is it quite dangerous to be working with these animals? Too? It, it is a very dangerous job, yeah. I mean, uh, people see us hanging, them out, hanging out with them out there and it looks very casual and so on. But, you know, like I said, we've raised these guys in cubs. They know it, us particularly very well. If a stranger went out there with those cats, they would definitely not make it back out of the exhibit. And um, what brought this particular Odin to this park? Odin was actually born here. Okay. Yep. And what was, was his parents weren't, were they white tigers too? Uh, well, his father was a orange Bengal tiger, and his mother was a white Bengal tiger. Uh, that gives you about a 50-50 chance of having white cubs. Okay. And uh, how long will he be here now? For it? Will... Odin will live here and retire here. And how old do they live to? You know? uh, in the wild, they can live about 10 or 11 years. Here at Discovery Kingdom, we average late teens to early 20s, so about twice as long. And he doesn't like to share his pen with the other tigers? No, he, he hangs out with a couple of the younger ones, the Siberian cubs we have, the two and a half years old. But uh, pretty much anything else, no. Doesn't Tiger. Work. Sorry. And one more time if you can. Okay. Um.
primero. Okay.